Let's talk state of the market. Um, it's July 2023, and I am going to cover today the office market in Orlando. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Don't we have such a pretty downtown? So um, here's our Orlando office report for July 24th, 2023. So this will cover all of the activity that we have had. So uh, first of all, um, I would say that there is some upward pressure on a vacancy. As you can see, it has ticked up as a whole, but also keep in mind that the Orlando market covers several counties. So we're gonna talk about that still in some sub markets, um, it's re re remained resilient and they well, there will be different, different vacancy rates depending on which sub market. So, um, so there were some shorter term leases that happened during the pandemic and those have come to roost and so, there are um that has caused the negative absorption that we saw here so despite though the leasing activity has been repressed but it's still ticking up and so um we're expecting the vacancy to approach about 10 percent by the end of this year and even more so as far as different products have different absorption levels and so here we we have a lot under construction and you can see um, that it's less impacted as far as one and two and three star properties as much as the downtown properties. I, I'm seeing a bit of an exodus from downtown. And so it's still well below its historical high of 14.4% as far as vacancies are concerned. And we have had some relocation and so you can see all that right there. So here's our forecast. and so. The United States vacancy is supposed to rise, and so as far as Orlando, but we're staying below the national average, and we are forecasted as well to do um, better than the the city. But our downtown properties are doing worse than the national average, and that was what I was talking about before. Um, so as far as Orlando here. Uh, where availability is going to continue to increase in those four and five stars. And those are mainly downtown. So here are some of the leasing deals that have occurred and you can see those deals there. And then, and then you can see the overall expenses can vary based on market. Obviously the taxes and such would have to do with that. And then you, we will go ahead and construction. Uh, there's a aerospace build to suit that took place. And um, there is another property. So there's a lot going on in the, the tech area over by UCF and Research Park. And we now have a groundbreaking for the edge. Um, however, it keeps getting pushed. I my feeling is is you're going to see that push with the the headwinds that you're having in that four and five star product class. So, um, as far as the deliveries and those types of things, you can see that here. But you know we have over under construction over a million, um, and about sixty percent is pre leased, and so these are the different products that we have um, office down in South Lake Nona. And here we go. And um, cap rates, you will see that in Fairbanks, we have like a 5% cap rate in Winter Park. And so that's the anomaly I was talking about. So we have Orlando as a whole, but you're gonna see pockets where it's different. And that's in places like Winter Garden and Winter Park. And we are expected a price per square foot. Uh, you can see we had just about like a peak right there in the summer of 2022. And we've seen it go down a little bit. We're expecting it to go down a bit more. Um, the cap rates are expected to rise. And obviously that's gonna have a inverse relationship on the prices, which, you know, cap rates go up, prices go down. And here we go, average cap rates approaching seven, average price per square foot is about 200. And here is some more information. So 
Um, so long story short, the Orlando office market as a whole is outperforming nationally. However, when it comes to the downtown four and five star, that is a drag on the overall economics. I'm going to see if there's anything else you guys want to see here. Um, population change, you can see that spiked. And we've, I've talked to you over the last, you know, few months and weeks about how that has gone. You know, our population growth has slowed. And this is the area as a whole that I'm talking about. So when they're averaging things out, they're going to even include offices down here in St. Cloud. And here are the different markets. And so let's look here at the inventory and the deliveries and the under construction. So, um, okay, here's the rent. Um, some of the highest rents you're seeing in our outlying Osceola. So it must be more medical product right there. Uh, University, uh, Southeast Orange, South Orange, that's more medical. Um, so that's where you're seeing uh, different prices. I would say you see lowest prices like Northwestern, Orange, like Apopka and uh, those areas. And so here's our vacancy figures. You have the Maitland Center has about 15% vacancy, Lake Mary 13%. Uh, but then you, you look in other areas like St. Cloud, you saw how high their lease rates were. They only have less than a percent of vacant. That would be it. So uh, I can send this whole report to you if you'd like, or if you've had any questions, I just wanted to give you an overall view of the Orlando office market as of July, 2023. And I'm Amy Calandrina. Um, this is your latest Beyond Your Space Needs. And have a great day.